Hi, I'm Justin with Countryside RV, and I'm here to show you the 2023 Columbus 384 RK. Uh, we just picked up this brand. Um, it is a luxury brand at an affordable price. Um, so we're going to start right here in the front. Uh, we have the More Ride Pin Box. It's like a shock dampener, so it's sort of kind of a chucking while you're driving that a uh, standard fifth wheel pin box would have. Um, you also have a nice docking lights, so you can see the hitch when you're hooking up at night. Um, painted front cap coming under. You have a large front compartment because they are generator prep. Um, you can choose that from the factory if you want the generator the prep or no prep. Um, the generator would be a 5500 Onan that runs off of propane. There's already the plug on the LP regulator that you can just hook it up from there. Um, there's two battery boxes, um, hydraulic pump for the auto level, um, lots of space, a little spot for your hose, and then you just got some pipes and stuff like that. Um, and then some tools for backup if your electronics don't work. I'm going to come around here. This is where one of your LP tanks is. Uh, I'll come with two full 30 pound LP tanks. Come around here. You can see it has a very large front compartment. Come over here, you have your six point hydraulic auto level. And then you also have your inverter for your residential refrigerator right there. Um, it does have a drop frame on it, and that's where you get this, this height from. Uh, welded aluminum frame. You can see that right here. And then on the other side, coming open, you have a docking station right here. So all your water comes in right here. Outside shower. You can even turn your pump on right here um, for testing or anything like that, winterizing. Um, city water, black tank flush, um, full unit filter. Uh, your cable poles for your dumps. Um, you also have a little hole so you can stick the hose right through so the door can shut. An outlet. Um, this one's wired for solar, but you can get it with solar. Uh, we can install it or you can order it from the factory like that. Uh, power cord reel. Because your 50 amp cord gets pretty stiff. And around. Uh, they swing sideways so you don't have to duck under it. Slam latches. Uh, it's key to light. Um, you only need one key for the whole unit. Um, this slide out floor uh, is dipped in a waterproof coating um, so it resists water damage. Come down. This is where your dump's at. And you can see your hydraulic auto level jack. And the uh, J metal actually goes all the way down and touches the frame so it creates a fully enclosed underbelly with no gaps. Um, and then you just have your enclosed underbelly underneath of that. Uh, frameless windows, see that right here, helps prevent leaks, also a better look. Uh, coming over to the uh, slide out, and then they're, uh, they're all rack and pinion, even the front, uh, the bedroom slide out. And then you have the Moorite CRE 3000 suspension, uh, it's 360 degrees of uh, dampening, and then you have the Westlake G-rated tires. Um, they also have the tire pressure monitoring system already in it, um, and it goes around the rim. So you don't have to have the, the funky valve stem covers. Uh, it just goes all the way around. Uh, and then the controller is inside. Uh, you do have a second dump and a pole for your kitchen sink, and that's it. Uh, your spare, spare tire is underneath, or a holder, and then your fresh tank drains back there. Uh, then there's some dead space in the kitchen, and so they put an outside compartment on there. So you have a little extra storage, hoses, whatever. You didn't have enough storage in the front, which is already plenty. Uh, we have LED uh, marker lights, tail lights, everything. Uh, then the 50 amp power cord um, with the hookup in the back because that's where your power's at. A lot of companies will put it all the way in the front and you have to drag your cord all the way in the back and hopefully it reaches. Uh, right here is access to your residential refrigerator. So you can turn the ice maker water on and off. You can service it. You don't have to pull the whole thing out. Um, you also have a hitch right there for a storage rack. Uh, it has a 300 pound capacity. Come around here, the second door uh, it goes into the kitchen. And then you have your two awnings. Uh, they even added this little spring. Um, you'll know a lot of these LCI Solera uh, awnings will get stuck when you take it out. It'll just kind of unroll and you have to pull it out. That little spring assists with that. You can also adjust it just by pulling it down. Uh, let the water run off. And you have the lights on the end. Um, coming around, you have a 12 gallon water heater. 
gas and electric, control it all from inside. Um, and then your other side of your pass through, easy access to the battery disconnect, also a TV hookup. And then your other LP tank will go over here, same as the other side. Uh, now we'll go inside. Uh, first thing is this more ride solid step, strut assisted. It can hold itself up there. You can lift it with one finger. It also has these easy legs. You just push it down, and you're good to go. Columbus logo there. Um, here's some features of the, the construction. Um, it also has the screen L LCI screenshot where it'll shut the screen for itself. Just like that. So we'll come inside. Some brands use a, a touch screen display um, and you gotta put a password in and then <clears throat> it kind of doesn't react to your finger, um, but you can connect to your phone. Well, this one uses buttons, but you can also still connect to your phone with an app through Bluetooth or you can do the actual buttons. So that's pretty nice. They light up so you can see it in the dark. Um, almost everything's controlled from here. The water pump, uh, your holding tank heaters, water heater, um, electric water heater, you can do both or one or the other and then each of your lights. Um, and then in each room there's also a momentary switch where you can turn it off from the room itself. Um, and then your RV Comfort thermostat that controls everything from right here. The front AC has a heat pump in it um, so it adds a little bit extra heat. It also still has the uh, 35,000 BTU furnace uh, for the whole unit but you run the heat pump for a little extra. And the reason the front has the heat pump is because the back has a fireplace that produces heat. Um, it also changes colors and whatnot. Um, it comes with two TVs, one in the bedroom, uh, one in the living room. It is also the radio. The radio plays through the TV. The TV also plays through all the speakers. Um, so it's all hooked up together. Um, another cool feature is the couch. Um, so instead of your standard trifold where it all comes together, you can split it. So this person can be laying down. This person can be sitting up, um, or you can pull them both out. Um, so that's kind of a neat feature. Uh, cabinets all around, soft close. Um, over here, you have the same thing, just a little bit bigger. Um, and then all the windows are crank open, so that way they can be open when it's raining and the water just drips off. You don't have to worry about water getting in. Like that. And then it also comes with MCD day night shades. You have one or the other. So your night and then your day, just like that. Um, you have a <clears throat> two-person dinette. There's two more chairs under the front bed. Flip this out and you fit four. Uh, coming around to that other door. Um, I like this because when you come in, you have easy access to the refrigerator, the pantry, anything else in the kitchen. Um, if you need to go to the bathroom, you use the other door. And you walk straight into the half bath. Um, big basin sink. Wide open right here so you can fit a trash can. Um, big drawers. Also soft clothes don't work very well when it's cold. Four burner stove. Residential microwave. Um, with the vent. Large oven. Some more storage. Um, and then back here, this goes all the way to the wall. Same with up here. Very deep storage. Residential <clears throat> refrigerator with ice maker and water dispenser. It's a split side fridge and freezer. And then uh, uh, this is a picture of the wall. Uh, so it has double Asdell. Uh, this is the outside. It's a lot thicker. And then you have another thin layer on the inside. So there's no way the water can get in there and it cannot delaminate. Um, and it's also a two inch side wall. Uh, most campers have a one and a half. You have electric lumbar on the theater seating. Uh, quiet, cool AC. <clears throat> so the return air is ducted. Uh, instead of coming around at the bottom, it makes it a lot quieter. Uh, ceiling fan. And come around to the half bath. Just come in here. <clears throat> you still have a porcelain toilet, soft closed lid, sink, uh, lots of storage. Uh, same blinds, converter, everything else. I'll come up to the bedroom. Uh, 
king size bed. Uh, still with you have a spot for your phone up there because there's a USB in the light, so you can charge your phone. And then a little ledge on the bottom for anything else you need. Outlets on the side for CPAP. Um, you have your second AC, also quiet cool. And then underneath the bed, another cool thing. So it's an aluminum frame bed. You have a piece of plywood on the top, but then it's aluminum welded all the way around, just like the frame of the camper is. All the way around the sides, strut assisted. Uh, and then it's a rack and pinion. And on most campers, have a rack and pinion on the bed. Uh, this There's no storage. It just stops right here. Um, they made room for it and put it on the sides, so you can go all the way to the back of the slide-out with storage. You can see the chairs. And then you drop it down. If they build their bed like that, how do you think they built the rest of it? More storage here. It's about where that second TV goes. And then we'll come around to the bathroom, the main bathroom. Double vanity sink. Nice big medicine cabinet. More drawers. Porcelain toilet. Fiberglass bottom shower. Um, this is just your standard uh, wall paneling. Except they trimmed it so there's no way the glue can come off. Um, it's a lot better quality. Sliding glass door. And then you have your walk-in closet. Over here you got hang closet. There's already a dryer vent outside, so if you put a stackable washer dryer, you don't have to drill a hole in the wall, just in the paneling. The outside's already there. Uh, the Columbus is a great weather package and construction. Uh, it's actually a 101 wide body. So a normal camper is 96 inches, this is 101 inches, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it really does spread it out. Um, and that's how you can get more stuff in, makes it feel more open. Um, it also has thermofoil from the bottom, across the back, across the top, and through the front cap. Um, so there's a thermofoil all the way around. Um, and then even on the slide out floors, you can see that here's that coating that we talked about underneath of it. And then here's that thermal foil that goes all the way around the camper. You also have carpetless slide out floors. Um, I mentioned the two inch wall, uh, vacuum bonded with Asdell. And then you also have uh, five eighths tongue and groove plywood on the floor, um, fully insulated as well. Five inch wood truss on the top, um, insulated as well. R38 um, insulation on the top, R40 on the floor. So that's it for the 2023 Columbus 384RK. Um, if you want to see the price, it's on our website, uh, csrvsales.com. Um, so you can check that out. Uh, give us a call or a text if you're interested, you want to come take a look. Thank you.